This is Catholic Challenge on the Living Bread Radio Network. 16 teams will test their knowledge of the Catholic faith. Join us on this journey as we navigate our way from B.C. to A.D. and everything in between. Today's defenders of the faith will take up their shield and sword to compete for prize money and a chance to move on to the next round of competition. Are you ready for the challenge? Now, here's your host, Michael Roberts. Hello and welcome to Catholic Challenge here on the Living Bread Radio Network. I'm your host, Michael Roberts. Today, we have two teams that will compete, testing their knowledge of the Catholic faith. Each team is playing for their favorite Catholic charity, and whoever wins today will earn $200 for that charity and the opportunity to advance to the next round. Today, we welcome Renee Strahler and Megan Capitina. They are playing for St. Mary's School in Akron. And we also welcome Lydia Betza and Anne Monin. They are uh, here playing for the House of Loretto. So, uh, ladies, thanks for being with us here. Uh, we need to begin our game. But before we do, let's find out how to play. Here are the rules. In round one, each team will answer five questions. Correct answers are worth 10 points each. Questions are either true, false, or multiple choice. The contestants may confer, but the team captain must answer the question. There is no penalty for incorrect answers. If all five questions are answered correctly, the team will be given a chance to answer a bonus question worth 25 points. All right, St. Mary's School in Akron, you will go first. Renee Strahler, you are the captain. Round one begins for you right now. Question number one. Who was the Roman emperor at the time of the birth of Jesus? Pontius Pilate, Caesar Augustus, or Tiberius? Need an answer from you. Caesar. Correct. It was Caesar Augustus. Question number two. Who was the forerunner of Jesus sent to prepare his way? John the Baptist, Isaiah, or Paul? John the Baptist. It was indeed John the Baptist. Question number three, here we go. In what bodily form did the Holy Spirit show himself at the baptism of Jesus? A dove, an angel, or tongues of fire? A dove. It was a dove, correct. Question number four. From what psalm did Jesus quote when he was dying on the cross? Psalm 1, Psalm 12, or Psalm 22? 22. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Psalm 22, very good. Question number five. What prophet prayed at Mount Carmel, which resulted in the God's fire coming down to consume his sacrifice in the first book of Kings? Elijah? Jeremiah or Ezekiel? Elijah. It was indeed Elijah. And that sound means you got all five questions correct. That means we move on now to the bonus question again, worth 25 points. And here we go for St. Mary's. What is another name for Mary's song or canticle? She spoke it to her cousin Elizabeth. The Magnificat, the Hail Mary, or the Angelus? Magnificat. Correct. And that is a round one sweep for you. St. Mary's School, congratulations. Your score now, 75 points. We move on now to the House of Loretto. Lydia Betza, you are the team captain, and round one begins for you right now. Question number one. What doctrine proclaims that the Blessed Virgin Mary was conceived without sin? Original sin, excuse me. Assumption? Immaculate Conception or Nativity? Immaculate Conception. It is. And of course, we celebrate that on December 8th. Question number two. Baptism can be repeated. True or false? False. It is false. Question number three. At what other time is holy oil used to consecrate besides at baptism and confirmation? Penance, ordination, or marriage? Ordination. Ordination it is, correct. Question number four. What action is not part of the ritual in the sacrament of the sick? Prayer, anointing with oil, laying on of hands, or incense? 
Incense. Incense it is. Very good. Question number five. Here we go. What moral virtue helps us to restrain our appetites? Generosity, temperance, or respect? Temperance. It is temperance. And, of course, that sound means that you've gotten all five questions correct. You, too, move on to the bonus question. Again, worth 25 points. Here we go. What is it called to utter words of hatred against God or to abuse God's name? Perjury, blasphemy, or swearing? Blasphemy. Blasphemy it is, and a round one sweep for you, House of Loretto. Congratulations. And that means that both teams now are tied at 75. We've already got a great game going here. It is time for our first break of the game, but when we come back, we will meet our contestants. Stay with us. You are listening to Catholic Challenge here on the Living Bread Radio Network. Since 1960, the aim of Walsh University has been to develop students' mind, body, and spirit. That belief has called them to help support Catholic Challenge. Walsh University, a proud sponsor of Catholic Challenge. Find out more at walsh.edu. St. Raphael Bookstore is a proud financial sponsor of Catholic Challenge, the one-stop shop for defenders of the faith. Their resources are geared toward lifelong and new members of the faith. Online at catholicbook.net. And welcome back to Catholic Challenge here on the Living Bread Radio Network. I'm your host, Michael Roberts, and we've got a game going already here, a tie game to be exact. We've got Renee Strahler and Megan Capitina. They are playing for St. Mary's School in Akron. And we also have Lydia Betza and Ann Monin. They are uh, here playing for the House of Loretto. And uh, both teams are tied now at 75 points. So uh, we do say thanks uh, for being here, and let's take a moment now and meet our contestants. Uh, St. Mary's, I will begin with you. Renee Strahler, you are the team captain. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I'm a longtime listener to Living Bread Radio, and I, I work as a teacher's aide at St. Mary's. And I was actually the, um, the assistant of my, my teammate. Tell us a little bit about uh, your, your partner there. Like I said, I was her assistant last year. We taught third grade and I think she's a lot of fun and a faithful Catholic. <laughs> Obviously, uh, St. Mary's School is near and dear to your heart as you're playing for this organization. Tell us a little bit more about St. Mary's. Perhaps uh, people out there uh, don't know a lot about St. Mary's. St. Mary's is a um, Catholic school in downtown Akron. We're about to celebrate 100 years of the church building and the school, I think, shortly after. And I've been, we've been working there since 2014. What's the enrollment like at uh, St. Mary's? A little under 200. Your partner says 214 to be exact. Well, very good. Renee Strahler and Megan Capitina, we say thanks for being with us here uh, for Catholic Challenge. We move over now to the House of Loretto. Lydia Betza and Ann Monin are playing. Uh, Lydia, you are the team captain. Tell us a little bit about you. Um, hi, I'm a sophomore now at Walsh University here in North Canton. Um, I'm a theology and psychology double major with a minor in music. Um, and as my... Um, majors and minor show. I like music a lot and hope to do ministry one day. Very good. Tell us a little bit about your partner, Anne. Um, Anne and I were roommates this past spring. Um, she is also a theology major with her double major being in sociology with a double minor in peace studies and philosophy. Wow. Um, yeah, so we've gotten to know each other this past year through our major first and then just gotten really close. Very well. So tell us a little bit about the House of Loretto. You're playing uh, for that charity. Tell us about it. Um, it is a nursing home here in Canton, and um, they are, have the Sisters of the Congregation of the Divine Spirit, um, and they just take care of the people that are sent, that um, stay there and there's even a nun there that makes very nice rosaries, oh, too. Very good. So do you volunteer there at the House of Loretta? Um, yeah. On Martin Luther King Jr. Day, the, the two of us um, volunteered there because it's a volunteer day at Walsh. Mm. So that's where we went. Great. 
All right. Well, it's great to have you here with us. Uh, we see, we do say thanks again uh, for being a part of this game. Uh, the score is tied right now. House of Loretto, you have 75, and uh, St. Mary's School, you have 75 as well. It is uh, time now to move on to round two, but before we do, here's the rules. In round two, each team will answer five questions. Correct answers are worth 15 points each. Questions are either true, false, or multiple choice. The contestants may confer, but the team captain must answer the question. There's no penalty for incorrect answers. If all five questions are answered correctly, the team will be given a chance to answer a bonus question worth 25 points. All right, tied at 75, St. Mary's Akron, you will begin with round two. Renee Strahler, your first question is right now. What happened on the eighth day after Jesus' birth? Circumcision, baptism, or the visit of the Magi? Circumcision. It was indeed circumcision, correct. Question number two. Who was a Pharisee and a secret follower of Jesus? James the Lesser, John the Baptist, or Nicodemus? Nicodemus. Nicodemus, correct. Question number three. Who was the first to encounter the risen Lord according to the Gospels? Peter, Mary Magdalene, or John the Beloved Disciple? Mary Magdalene. It was indeed St. Mary Magdalene. Question number four. The word spirit comes from the Hebrew word ruah, which can mean breath, fire, or cloud. Breath. Breath. Very good. Here's question number five. Which is not listed as a fruit of the Holy Spirit in Galatians chapter 5, verse 22 through 23? Love, determination, joy, or patience? Determination. It is indeed determination. And that's how it means you got all five of those correct. We move on now to the bonus question. Again, worth 25 points. And here it is. What is a title of the church made popular by Vatican II to indicate a gathering of all God's faithful? Rock of Ages, People of God, or Temple of the Holy Spirit? Need an answer from People me. of God. You got it right at the buzzer, and that is a round two sweep for you, St. Mary's School. You now have 175 points. House of Loretto, you're right behind with 75. Round two begins for you right now. Which image or symbol is not used for the church in the New Testament? A temple, a bride, a pyramid, or a sheepfold? Pyramid. You got it. It is a pyramid. Question number two. The word apostle means follower, one cent, or leader? Follower. Ah, that's incorrect. The correct answer is one cent. Question number three. What is it called when the laity share the faith through their witness of life and the word? Prophecy, evangelization, or proselytism? Evangelization. It is evangelization, correct. Question number four. This female saint was an early martyr. She is the patron of toothaches and dentists, and her feast day is February 9th. Mary Magdalene, St. Lucy, or St. Apollonia? St. Lucy. Nah, the correct answer is St. Apollonia. Here's question number five. What is it called when Mary received the news of her virginal conception of Jesus? The Immaculate Conception, the Annunciation, or the Assumption? The Annunciation. You got it. And of course, we celebrate that on March 25th. So at the end of round two, House of Loretto, you have 120 points. St. Mary's School in Akron, you have 175 points. We are almost ready to move into round three. But before we do, I'd like to take a moment and thank our generous sponsors. These sponsors have provided all the prize monies for our program. We want to give special thanks to Ziegler Tire, St. Raphael Bookstore, Walsh University, and the Knights of Columbus. These great organizations continue to partner with the Living Bread Radio Network to help all of us learn more about the Catholic faith. So we do say thank you to our sponsors. All right, now on to round three. 
Let's hear those rules. In round three, each team will answer five questions. Correct answers are worth 20 points each. Questions are either true, false, or multiple choice. The contestants may confer, but the team captain must answer the question. There is no penalty for incorrect answers. If all five questions are answered correctly, the team will be given a chance to answer a bonus question worth 25 points. All right, St. Mary's School in Akron, you've got 175 points, and you lead us off with round three, which begins right now. Besides baptism by desire and baptism by water, what is another way of baptism? Martyrdom, confirmation, or anointing? Martyrdom. You got it. It is martyrdom. Question number two. The Eastern Catholic Church celebrates the sacraments of baptism, confirmation, and Eucharist at the same time for all their new members, including infants. True or false? False. Ah, the correct answer is, of course, true on that. Question number three. What gospel does not give us an account of the institution of the Eucharist at the Last Supper? Mark, Luke, or John? Mark. Ah, the correct answer there is John. Question number four. What Jewish feast day was the occasion for Jesus' Last Supper with his disciples? Passover, Hanukkah, or Day of Atonement? Passover. It is indeed Passover, correct. Question number five. The sacrament of reconciliation includes the desire to change one's life. True or false? True. You've got it. That is true. And at the end of round three, St. Mary's in Akron, you have 235 points. We now move over to the House of Loretto. You've got 120 points. And round three begins right now. Question one. What is the Bible reference for the famous verse which begins, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son? Revelation 12, Matthew 25, or John 3.16? John 3.16. Indeed, John 3.16, correct. Question number two. This Polish saint was canonized by Pope John Paul II. She had visions of Jesus and wrote a diary about the divine mercy. Faustina, Elizabeth Ann Seton, or Mother Teresa? St. Faustina. Correct. Question number three. This man climbed a tree to see Jesus when he visited Jericho. His story is recounted in Luke 19. After meeting Jesus, he said he would give away half his possessions to the poor. Matthew, Simeon, or Zacchaeus? Zacchaeus. Correct. Question number four. What do all the seven sacraments have in common? They forgive sin, they give grace, or water is used? They give grace. That's absolutely right. A sacrament is an outward sign instituted by Christ to give us grace. Question number five. Which gospel opens with the words, In the beginning was the word? Mark's gospel, Luke's gospel, or John's gospel? John's. John's Gospel, correct. And that sound means you got all five correct, and we move on to the bonus question worth 25 points, and here we go. Where did Jesus attend the wedding feast where he performed his first public miracle? Galilee, Cana, or Capernaum? Cana. You got it. And with that, a round three sweep for you, House of Loretto. Your score is now 245. And St. Mary's, you are at 235. So still very much anyone's game. We are going to take a quick break. But before we do, uh, here is a question for you, our listening audience. True or false? Jesus said that anyone who marries a divorced woman commits adultery. We'll give you the answer after the break. Go nowhere. You're listening to Catholic Challenge here on the Living Bread Radio Network. Catholic Challenge is made possible through the support of the Knights of Columbus. Founded in 1882, the Knights of Columbus protects Catholics and defends the faith. 
Today, there are over 15,000 councils. Learn more at kfc.org. Prize money for Catholic Challenge is provided in part by Ziegler Tire. Serving the listening area for 97 years and counting with name brand tires and auto service that you can trust. Find out more at ZieglerTire.com. Local programming on Living Bread Radio is brought to you through the generous contributions of our listeners. If you'd like to pledge your support and help with all of the great work being done, give us a call at 888-966-2903 or log on to livingbreadradio.com. And welcome back to Catholic Challenge here on the Living Bread Radio Network. Before the break, we left you with this question, true or false? Jesus said that anyone who marries a divorced woman commits adultery. Well, the answer is true. It comes from Mark chapter 10, verse 11. Whoever divorces his wife and marries another commits adultery against her. Well, we're in the midst of a great game here. It's a very close game as well. St. Mary's School in Akron, you have 235 points. House of Loretto, you are in the lead, though, with 245 points. It is now time for the challenge round. It's a little different. Here now are the rules. This final round combines knowledge and speed. The first team to ring in may answer the question. If the contestants ring in before the host has finished asking the question, the host will not finish reading the question. If the answer is incorrect, no points are lost, but the other team will have the opportunity to hear the question in its entirety. Correct answers are worth 30 points each. There are 15 questions in the challenge round, and in case of a tie at the end of this round, we will have a tiebreaker question. The team with the most points at the end of this round will be awarded $200 for their organization and will move on to the next round of competition. And the losing team will be awarded $50 for their organization. All right, contestants, hands on your buzzers. The challenge round starts right now. Question number one. When Jesus rode into Jerusalem amid cheering crowds on Palm Sunday, on what was he riding? A donkey. A donkey. You got it. Question number two. In which town was Jesus born? Nazareth. St. Mary's. Nazareth. Okay, that is incorrect. House of Loretto, I will reread the question for you. In which town was Jesus born? Bethlehem. Indeed, it was Bethlehem. All right, question number three. In the Gospel of Luke, Jesus heals ten lepers. How many came? St. Mary's. One. Very good. We asked how many came back to thank him after he healed ten, and only one came back. Question number four. To which apostle did Jesus say, Get thee behind me, Satan? St. Mary's. St. Peter. Indeed, get thee behind me, Satan. Question number five. What is the name of the devout and righteous man who met Jesus in the temple when he was circumcised? He told Mary. Simeon. St. Mary's School. That is correct. Very good. It was Simeon, and he told Mary that a sword would pierce her heart. Our score, St. Mary's, you are at 325. House of Loretto, 305. Still very close. Here's question number six. Name the three apostles who witnessed the transfiguration of St. Mary's. Peter, James, and John. You got it. They uh, witnessed the transfiguration of Jesus. Question number seven. What Marian Holy Day is always celebrated during Advent? House of Loretto. Our Lady of Guadalupe. Oh. That is incorrect. I will reread the question for you, St. Mary's School, and give you an opportunity to answer the question. What Marian Holy Day is always celebrated during Advent? Immaculate Conception. You got it. The key word was Holy Day. Yeah. All right. On to question number eight. This saint spoke about Brother Sun and Sister Moon. He is known as the patron saint, saint House of Loretto. St. Francis. <clears throat> he is known as the patron saint of ecology and of animals, St. Francis of Assisi. Question number nine. My feast day is December 12th. I am the... 
House of Loretta. Our Lady of Guadalupe. <laughs> There's your correct answer for Our Lady of Guadalupe. Of course, feast day is on December 12th, the patroness of the Americas and a large shrine built to her in Mexico. Question number 10. Who was the person in the Gospel of John who referred to Jesus as the Lamb of God? St. Mary's. St. John the Baptist. You got it. St. John the Baptist. St. Mary's School, you are now at 415. House of Loretto, you have 365. Here's question number 11. Lazarus had two sisters. Martha was one sister, but who was the... St. Mary's. Mary. Very good. Mary was the other sister of Lazarus. Question number 12. After Jesus died, who thrust a spear into his side? St. Mary's. Joseph of Arimathea. That is incorrect. House of Loretto, I will reread the question and give you an opportunity to answer. After Jesus died, who thrust a spear into his side? Need an answer from you. Ah, the out of time. The correct answer was a soldier or St. Longinus. <laughs> question number 13. What is a requiem mass? Ah, it is a mass for the dead, a funeral mass. Question number 14. The season of Lent always begins on this day. House of Loretto. Ash Wednesday. You got it, Ash Wednesday. Question number 15. I am a cord, belt, or sash of cloth. House of Loretto. Cincher. You got it. It is a cord, belt, or sash of cloth worn around an ecclesiastical vestment or the habit of a religious. It is a cincture. And that is it. That was our final question. And so uh, here's our score. We've got House of Loretto. You are at 425. St. Mary's School, you are at 445. Congratulations to St. Mary's School, Renee Strahler and Megan Capatina. Uh, you have now moved on to the next round and you've also won $200 for St. Mary's School in Akron. We do say thank you to Lydia Betza and Ann Monin for uh, being here representing the House of Loretto. A donation of $50 will be given to the House of Loretto on your behalf. We say special thanks to our sponsors, Ziegler Tire, St. Raphael Bookstore, Walsh University, and the Knights of Columbus, whose generous support provides our prize money. Don't forget to go to livingbreadradio.com to follow the Catholic Challenge scores and brackets. You can also listen to an audio arc archive of this program. Also, don't forget to like us on Facebook and Twitter as well. I'm Michael Roberts, and until next time, do your part and defend the faith. We'll see you next week for another edition of Catholic Challenge here on the Living Bread Radio Network. This has been another edition of Catholic Challenge, a production of the Living Bread Radio Network in Canton, Ohio. If you'd like to be a part of the program, email quiz at livingbreadradio.com. For an audio archive of this show or to view the current brackets, go to livingbreadradio.com and join us next time for another edition of Catholic Challenge.